He was a renowned American naturalist and herpetologist, known for his contributions to the field of natural history. Recognized for his extensive collection of plants and animals, he provided specimens for the Smithsonian Institution and worked closely with prominent naturalist Jared Potter Kirtland. His name is Robert Kennicott. In the vast realm of American naturalists and explorers, few have left as profound a legacy as Robert Kennicott. Born in 1835, Kennicott's early years were marked by chronic illness, which prevented him from attending school. Instead, he immersed himself in the great outdoors, where his passion for collecting plants and animals blossomed. Under the guidance of naturalist Jared Potter Kirtland and with the support of his father, Kennicott began supplying specimens to the Smithsonian Institution, working closely with Assistant Secretary Spencer Fullerton Baird. As an advocate for the study and protection of native prairie animals, Kennicott found himself at odds with the prevailing sentiment of the time. Farmers sought to eradicate these creatures, but Kennicott stood firm in his belief that they deserved respect and preservation. In 1857, he collaborated with Northwestern University to establish a natural history museum, laying the foundation for his later achievement, the founding of the Chicago Academy of Sciences. During his time in Chicago, Kennicott served as a mentor to numerous young naturalists, including the esteemed William Healy Dahl. Together, they formed the Megatherium Club, a gathering of like-minded individuals dedicated to the pursuit of scientific knowledge. Kennicott's thirst for exploration led him to study specimens in the uncharted wilderness of Hudson Bay, a region teeming with untold wonders and mysteries. In the mid-1860s, Kennicott's expertise caught the attention of the Western Union Telegraph Expedition, which commissioned him as a scientist for their ambitious excursion. It was during this expedition that tragedy struck. Robert Kennicott met his untimely demise, forever sealing his place in history as the namesake of Alaska's majestic Kennicott Glacier. Even in death, Kennicott's contributions to the world of natural science and exploration were not forgotten. His home, The Grove, located in Glenview, Illinois, stands today as a national historic landmark, a testament to his enduring legacy. Robert Kennicott's unwavering dedication to the study of nature and his profound impact on the scientific community continue to inspire generations of adventurers and researchers, reminding us of the boundless possibilities that lie within the natural world. In April 1859, Robert embarked on an expedition to collect natural history specimens in the subarctic boreal forests of northwestern Canada and the Arctic tundra beyond. Building rapport with the Hudson's Bay Company fur traders, he encouraged them to send specimens and artifacts to the Smithsonian. After three years, he returned to Washington, where he considered joining the Union Army in the Civil War but sent a substitute instead. Living in the Smithsonian Castle, he continued his work alongside renowned naturalists. In 1864, he was chosen as the scientist for the Western Union Telegraph Expedition, tasked with finding a telegraph route through the Bering Sea. The expedition faced challenges and achieved little, but Kennicott's health suffered. After recovering, the party traveled to Alaska in August 1865. Tragically, Kennicott passed away in May 1866 while traveling up the Yukon River. In recent years, a thorough study conducted by Smithsonian scientists revealed that his cause of death was likely cardiac arrest due to his underlying long QD syndrome, exacerbated by self-administered strychnine. His body has since been added to the human anatomy collection at the Smithsonian, with the permission of his descendants. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.